Hey gun enthusiasts of YouTube, welcome back to Ford Joe's Fort Bio Joe. Um, today I've got a shooting 101 video for you, basically the shooting fundamentals slash basics. And I want to show you what I'm what I'm doing here at the range. Got a target set at about 100. And then one way down there, you can kind of see it there. Right there. That's setting at about 200 yards. So, um, obviously this video is going to be... <laughs> I, I'm I, I will I will lay it all out on the table. I don't normally shoot past the hundred because I'm more of a home defense tactical type shooter. This is the gun we're using today. It's a AR10 in 308. I'm kind of new to this rifle, so it's going to be a learning learning process for both of us. Um, I'm getting into this this long range game a little bit with this rifle here, and I can go into more of the details about the rifle later on. But, um, you know, I, I figured to start a steer series here about long range shooting and as I learn, I, I can pass on the knowledge to you. So today, though, I'm gonna focus on the basic, basics. You're gonna get to see where it hits the paper on that other end. You're gonna get to see all the good and the bad shots. So you're gonna see what it takes to make those long range shots. And now some of you that are bigger into long range and you're probably 10 times better than I am at the long range game. So don't laugh, um, but this way you get to see the, it's not gonna be uncut, but pretty much raw footage of, of what, what it takes and why the fundamentals are so important. So we'll be right back here in a second once I get all set up and uh, enjoy the video guys. All right, welcome back guys. Um, we're gonna start out here. I've got some PMC ammo in 308. Um, that's what I'm gonna use today. It's not match grade, it's actually cheaper ammo. That way I can get more rounds on range. I'm gonna load this magazine up, and then we're gonna we're gonna do a shot group of three to start out with, um, and you'll be able to see the shots down range. I'll uh, edit the video so that you can actually see each individual shot. Um, so three shots, and it comes down to basically almost three things. Um, one is going to be your breathing. You're going to want to make sure that you breathe. You want to be relaxed as you can be. You want to breathe nice and deep. Let it out about half to three quarters. Some only do a quarter. Let out only a quarter of the breath. Then you want to hold it. And you want to hold it. And you want to put your reticle on the target. And in between that breath, while you're holding your breath, there's a lot of things going on here. You want to make sure that you're you're propped up and when I'm bench shooting like this I actually take this left hand and I put it in the stock and hold it to the back back of my shoulder and I want to keep this is number two I want to keep my eye and everything as in line with the target as possible I want to get a good focus put my eye right where it needs to be keep it right in line and then the net last thing is you want to keep a straight, you want to pull that trigger, you want to really, really be not careful, but you want to focus on your trigger pull. You want to pull it to the rear as much as possible, which is a hard thing to do, as, as you can see our fingers work on a lever, but you want to try to pull that trigger straight to the rear of the gun if possible. You want to do just a nice, easy trigger pull if you've got a two-stage trigger. You want to get back to that second stage and you want to kind of know your rifle so that you know the breakoff point so that when it, and when it fires you're not anticipating the shot. So let's get it, get down to shooting and, and I'll kind of, you'll see the basics happen as, I, as I'm shooting here. So, all right, let's get going here. I'm gonna first pull the, the bolt to the real, real, rear here. And that way, once I get my uh, magazine in, That way I can lock a round down as you've seen right there. I'm gonna make sure to get my ear protection, my eye protection, yeah. So that uh, nothing happens to these eyes so that I can continue to make videos and shooting and nothing happens to the ears so that I can still hear around me. All right, here we go. I'm getting my steady shooting platform here. 
trying to stay in line with the rifle. The inline part's not as important as just getting a steady shooting platform, especially at these longer ranges. Now I'm starting to work on my breathing, getting a couple good breaths in. Keeping my finger out of the trigger guard until I'm ready to shoot. When I'm just about ready and settled in, I'm going to flip the safety off. When I'm really starting to feel it and starting to relax, I'm going to get to that two-stage portion of my trigger, right to my break-off point. <clears throat> now I'm going to really focus on breathing and my trigger pull. Now I believe I can see that I was a little bit high and right, or maybe I was right on, I can't really tell through the scope, but you'll be able to see better than I will once I uh, edit this video. So I'm going to get concentrate back on my breathing again, flip the safety on. As you notice after my shot, my finger came out of the trigger guard, because now i got to prepare myself for the next shot. Go back to focusing on breathing. My steady platform is still there. Flipping the safety off because I feel like I'm ready. Safety goes back on. <clears throat> Get ready for my third and final shot. Safety goes off as my breathing calms. And I think that one ended up far right, being that my trigger pull was a little off. I jumped on the trigger a little bit. But you'll see these fundamentals come together. I'll put another three group um, shot, shot group together for you again another time here. And like I said, we'll all learn at the same time on this. For those of you that aren't, um, are new to the long range game. For the rest of you that aren't, maybe you can give me some tips along the way as this is a new thing for me. I'm more into the defensive shooting zero to a hundred yards hundred yards is even a stretch in that defensive type shooting so most of your engagements are going to be within 20 20 yards so um thanks for watching for joe's bio joe and i hope you enjoy the rest of the video all right we're back for group two three shots group two of th of three so this would be um would be shot four five and six we're going to do another three shot group and we're going to see how I did. Um, after watching, after you watched the, the beginning of this video, um, it was looking like my first two shots were actually halfway decent. I was aiming for the, the center target, if that wasn't obvious. Um, they were within about three, four inches of the center. Um, not the best ever, but like I said, I'm new to this long range game and like I said, we'll, we'll all learn together. Um, but uh, I think on my last shot, what ended up happening was a collaboration between both my, my trigger pull and my breathing. My breathing was, seemed to be a little bit off. Um, it was one of those deals where, 
you know, I held my breath a little bit too long. I anticipated the shot a little bit and I kind of pulled to the right. Well, in a, I guess in, in a backwards world, I guess, kind of, not really backwards, but I guess it was more of one of those deals where I kind of maybe pulled to the left, moving the shot to the right is what I should should have said. So let's give this another, another go. Rifle's on safe. We're going to charge it here so I can get a rounds get a magazine in there seat it good give it a little tug seat around and uh, ear protection again oh very very important this is gonna all this is gonna go into um, a new playlist called range time and um, <clears throat> I'm even gonna add a after range time video where I'm sitting there cleaning my rifles and I just kind of talk over what I learned throughout the day um, if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff feel free to check it out um, <clears throat> I may or may not leave a link down in the description we'll see how uh, energetic I get once I start editing all of this um, it takes a lot of time to walk back and forth set the camera up down there there's a lot to it so um, so let's let's get back to the back to shooting though so I'm setting up my setting up a secure platform. Um, there's a lot of different positions you can shoot from. Um, this isn't necessarily the most stable. If I were to go prone, that would be good. So, alrighty, downrange. You're gonna see that I taped up all the shots. The upper left-hand corner shots were my first, just kind of just warm-up shots of the day. They weren't necessarily the best, but you know, I'm getting used to this rifle. These are pro. This is probably the maybe eighth or tenth shots I've shot out of the rifle so I haven't gotten many rounds down range so working on my breathing here just trying to settle in nice deep breaths breaths are getting good getting my eyesight lined up Just so you know the reason I keep adjusting here my chest is kind of leaning right here against the table and every time I take a breath or even move just slightly it moves the, the rifle just enough to uh, uh, a uh, half an inch on this end could mean anywhere to from an inch to four inches on that end so you got to be very careful about your movement especially if you're doing precision shooting so Let the breath out. Stop about, don't completely empty your lungs, but you want to empty them, like I said, half to three quarters. <clears throat> Safety goes off. Not quite sure where that shot ended up. Safety goes back on. Can't tell if it hit one of the other uh, other shot placements, but uh, we'll get we'll get three shots, two more shots off here. Just kind of watch what I'm doing, my fundamentals, and just kind of watch me breathe. If this is what you're focusing on, you know, just kind of see what I'm doing, and like I said, you can learn from my mistakes. So.
Well, I might have pulled a little bit to the right on that one. It looks like it might have gone far left. I'm not sure you'll be able to see on the video better than I can right now, but... Alrighty, I'm not sure how those last couple shots went off. Um, we'll see once I get down there how they how they look. I'm going to take another three shot group quick, and we're going to aim for the center again. For those of you that that uh, understand these rifles, and you're wondering how come once he empties out his magazine, the bolt's not rock, lock, locking to the rear. Well, that's because I've got mechanical failure here. When I bought this rifle, this came with it, and I am definitely going to remove it and put the uh, stock, um, ma uh, not magazine release, but bolt release back in. This does not catch the bolt or hold the bolt very well. Um, I'll probably end up just getting myself a bad lever. I believe I did a review on those. They uh, fit right onto the stock magazine release, and they work a hell of a lot better than this thing. I'm not sure of the brand, but... If you see that, don't get that, because it doesn't work. <laughs> so, once again, you get to learn from my mistakes here. So, another uh, another three rounds ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and charge it first here. That way I can actually seat the rounds better. As you can see, a lot of times I'm trying to hold this up, and it's like once I get the magazine seated, that bolt prematurely slams forward, which... I don't like, see, just the slightest, it's terrible, you got the safety on, it's paint, pointed in a safe direction, that's why I'm not too concerned about it, but, but that does need to be changed, and um, I will do a video on that being changed also later tonight, so, alright, getting set up here again. A lot of things can throw a shot shot off, you know, your breathing, your trigger pull, your anticipation. Anticipation gets a lot of guys, it gets me too, so, you know, try not to anticipate the shot. high I can see where that hit it we hit um, oh I don't know three four inches above the bullseye That one's just above the other lap, the last shot. We're going to try to slow things down here and see if I can bring it in a little bit tighter. Not sure where that last one hit. Just because I'm not satisfied with my shooting, we're going to put three more down range. And uh, it, it just gives you more of a view of what it really takes to just even reach out and touch at 200 yards. So hopefully you guys find this um, 
educational and you're enjoying the video, um, it's educational for me just as much as it is for you. It's cheaper for you, but uh, 308 ammo isn't exactly cheap here, so um, make sure that the bolt completely seated. Get my breathing down again, get my position good. Alrighty, I've got six shells left here. I believe I'm going to save them for another day <coughs> of shooting. Unfortunately, as a lot of you will know, to get with the ammo prices the way they are, it's hard to blow off a lot of rounds. Um, I don't make any money off this channel whatsoever. Um, it's uh, completely voluntary maybe someday the channel will make some money but um and i'll be able to do more shooting but at the moment i i don't get any kind of reimbursement or anything like that for it so i'm going to take you down range with me and we're going to look at um what it did and i'm going to kind of maybe talk through um what i think could be the reason why some of my shots are off and why i think some of the shots are good so I'll take you down range with me. Take a, take you for a walk here just so you can get a kind of an idea of what 200 yards is like. Um, there's the bench right there, the gun's on safe and all that and is unloaded. Um, as you can see, I mean, it's, it's a little bit of a hike. Um, so, as you can imagine, even at 100 yards, just the slightest movement to knock off your shot. So take everything that gets knocked off, you know, take everything that at 100 yards that would knock off your shot an inch, and you might as well just double that. Make it two inches now at that point. So, and, and, and maybe that's not the correct math on that, and if anybody's got something different, you know, put it in the comments below, and. That way, that way we'll all learn. <coughs> I'll take my uh, earplugs out so that everything I say doesn't sound so muffled. One great thing about being on the range, one, it gets you out of the house, two, raspberries everywhere get to eat a whole bunch of raspberries i'm kind of lucky in that sense this uh this range just is just laced with raspberries i 
So if that's any constellation, at a faster walking pace it takes me, I don't know, roughly two minutes or so to get down here. All right, so I've got like four good shots here. I'd say these four right here. And then I've got four that uh, aren't so awesome, which makes no sense. I shot six shots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or no, actually I did shoot nine shots. So I've got nine shots here. I got four that are close to the center and then and then five that are on the outer rim here. God, I can't count, huh? Um, I think these were decent shots. You know, they're nice, nice group. Obviously you'll see on the camera better than I can um, which shot was which and I'll evaluate it later and maybe talk about it more later. Um, but these shots, everything, everything was the way it should be. You know, uh, the breathing was right, the trigger pull was right, I was steady. Obviously these five shots on the outer rim here, you know, something was off. Either I anticipated the shot, um, pull, didn't squeeze the trigger instead of, I, I squeeze, didn't, I pulled the trigger instead of squeezing the trigger, um, and maybe I held my breath too long, got too antsy, pulled the trigger faster than I should have. Um, you know, site placement, you know, uh, so there's a lot of things that can throw throw it off. I mean, obviously you can see, you know, pinky finger here is probably about four inches or so. So, you know, that's about four inches off and this one's maybe five or six or so from here to here. Um, so a lot can throw it off. It's it's a lot harder than people think. It is, isn't, no call, isn't a Call of Duty game where you just point it and it goes where it goes no matter where you at with where you're with with your uh, your breath and whatnot um, it it's it's you got to work on your ba your fundamentals definitely for this long range stuff um, so thanks for watching guys um, I'll probably go through this and and give you talk talk about it a little bit more later tonight but hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching guys